Hi there. In this video, we're going to be discussing hematopoiesis. So what exactly is hematopoiesis? Hematopoiesis is the formation of blood cells. All hematopoiesis starts in the bone marrow as depicted in this diagram. The ultimate goal is to give rise to the many of the cellular blood elements such as neutrophils, eosinophils, basophils, monocytes, red blood cells, platelets, and the lymphocytes which include B cells, T cells, and NK cells. Plasma cells are also a product of hematopoiesis. However, unlike the other blood cell elements that were noted earlier, they do not end up in the blood. Plasma cells end result product, which are the antibodies, are the things that end up in the blood, rather than the plasma cells itself. All hematopoiesis happens in the bone marrow, as was mentioned earlier. Most of these hematopoietic elements end up in blood as blood cellular elements. Some of these blood cellular elements come directly from the bone marrow. However, a subset of them, specifically lymphocytes, take a different path. Some initially end up in the thymus, and some go to secondary lymphoid tissues like the lymph node before ending up in the blood. A subset of the lymphocytes that enter the thymus are the ones that become your mature T lymphocytes, or the T cells, while the ones that end up in secondary lymphoid tissues are the ones that give rise to the B cells. So in summary, everything starts off in the bone marrow. T cells, they actually have to end up in thymus before they can end up in the blood, while B cells have to go to the, the secondary lymphoid tissues like the lymph node before they can end up in the blood, while myeloids go directly to the blood. To sum it up, the pluripotent stem cells become myeloid and lymphoid stem cells. The myeloid stem cells give rise to the granulocytic precursors, which ultimately become the neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils, while the monocytic precursors become the monocytes. The myeloid stem cells also give rise to the red cell precursors, which ultimately become the mature red blood cell, and the megakaryocytic precursors, which ultimately give rise to platelets. As the name implies, the lymphoid stem cells give rise to the lymphocytes, which include T cells, B cells, and NK cells. So what are the products of hematopoiesis? Well, these include monocytes, granulocytes, lymphocytes, red blood cells, platelets, and plasma cells. Plasma cells are not typically seen in the blood as was noted earlier. Most mature monocytes in the blood have kidney bean-shaped nucleus with vacuoles. Granulocytes, as the name implies, have granules like the neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. Lymphocytes have no granules typically, red blood cells lack a nucleus, and platelets are just cellular fragments. These blood cellular elements are also depicted in terms of their size. Monocytes are the largest blood cellular elements, followed by granulocytes, then lymphocytes, red blood cells, and platelets. As noted earlier, the product of hematopoiesis that's not typically seen in the blood is the plasma cell. Plasma cells can be seen as eccentrically located nuclei with a prominent Golgi huff. I hope that helped.